So first you need to go to GitHub and download the uh, SDK here. After that, you extract it into your specific folder, your favorite folder. And you open it with Unity Hub. When you go inside the project, now the first step, you need to open the addressable group using Windows. Go to asset management, addressable and groups. You need to right click into missing reference and you need to clear the missing reference. You move to Windows here. Now we need some models. Now my favorite website, I would go to CG Trader to look for some model. Let's choose the beach girls. Beach girls. Love that. <laughs> now we have all the files here. So I will, um, in the next step, I will show you how to create the models uh, slowly. If you already familiar with how to do it in Unity, you can skip this step and go to a minute uh, 17. Uh, or else you can just wait here and see what I'm doing. You can see that the model should be humanoid and need to be read and writable. And after that, you click on configure and see the avatar. So you could see here that the avatar is actually a humanoid bone, and the green one is the bone structure. Of the uh, humanoid one, you can see this model doesn't have jawbone. It may or may not have eyes, but it doesn't matter. This is a pretty good model because it's very simple. You could navigate around and see the fingers, bones. You can see that the hair is very simple as well. You can so see that this model is female, so she have breast. Okay, so now let's um, put material on her. So you need to go to material, extract material, and you create a uh, folders here, and name is materials. The next step we gonna start moving she into the scene and we're gonna assign the correct texture into those material let's start so first you will see there's plenty of material here we need to drag the mess into the scene let's create a sample scene here We'll never showcase. <coughs> we open the scene. We're gonna assign the lighting. We're gonna change the environment a little bit. So we assign the uh, light source. We make the scene a little bit brighter. So it look better. You can see I set the intensity to 2, so I can see the model better. So now I will drag the model in. You can drag any model. You see. Yep. Each model have a, a lot of skin mess and renderers. And we need to assign the correct texture to them. Let's start doing it.
Okay, so now we got a model here. Yes, yes, she's uh, in a hole. Now you right click and you need to say prefab and unpack completely. You need to create a folder. You name it Beach Girl Mod. You reset the position here. Yep. Now you need to add one more component called character info. And you need to set uh, animation preset. In here, I set the uh, animation preset to Suckerbus. I the style preset is female and the weapon preset you know I put uh, something but I don't put it so leave it empty so she will host no weapon I will click on VIE click on view mods and select the base beach girl mod folder and it will start building Okay, now you just need to go back to the MOS folder and the MOS has been built for you. You just need to drag this folder into the MOS folder in the game and you can start playing with, uh, with her. Now, let's start the game. We can start the game without a VR headset, just for testing. Okay, inside the game, now I just need to press F3 to open the third person camera. I can fly around. And next, I will press the, uh, well, there's some button uh, under the escape key in order to open the um, common line and I would type spawn character space and I will put bishka mod The idea actually SK Beach Girl 01. Yep. She's here. She will start fighting the player. It looks quite fun, right? <laughs> it looks so funny. And you can also spawn a lot of uh, Beach Girl here in order to test. And yeah, you can start having fun with her. Thank you for watching.